good morning everyone today i will discuss welcome on my youtube channel and today i will discuss about the csf and uh, what is the csf csf that is the csf that is the cerebro spinal fluid cerebro spinal fluid why it is called cerebro spinal fluid because this is present in the also in the brain and also in the spinal cord this csf it is present in the subarachnoid space it is present in the subarachnoid space and this subarachnoid space it is present also in the brain and also in the spinal cord we know the meninges the dura mater the arachnoid mater and the pia mater and in between the arachnoid and the pia mater there is the space that is the subarachnoid space and in the subarachnoid space this csf that is the cerebrospinal fluid is present is present then what is the csf how we can define the csf it is the clear fluid it is a clear and the colorless it is the clear and the colorless liquid that contain containing the small amount of the small amount of protein protein glucose potassium and large amount of and large amount of sodium chloride and the large amount of the sodium chloride the potassium and the large amount of the sodium chloride it is the clear fluid it is the colorless liquid containing small amount of the protein the glucose potassium and large amount of the sodium chloride and how it is produced it is produced it is produced in choroid plexus it is produced the term is choroid plexus which are present in the all the ventricles it is also present this choroid plexus in the lateral ventricle also in the third ventricle and also in the fourth ventricle this choroid plexus it is present in the lateral the third and the fourth ventricle so it is produced in the choroid plexus also in the lateral the third and the fourth ventricle but all the csf are not produced in the ventricle about the 70% 70% csf about the 70% of the csf is produced in the 70% csf it is produced in ventricles of the brain about the 70% csf is produced in the ventricle of brain and 30% is derived from 30% derived from 30% extracellular fluid extracellular fluid of brain parenchyma extracellular fluid of the brain parenchyma and secreted by secreted by ependymal lining which is the epithelial lining ependymal lining which is the ependymal lining which is the modified epithelium this ependymal lining it is the epithelial like cells the modified epithelium modified epithelial modified epithelium of ventricles of ventricles and also the central canal of spinal cord central canal of the spinal cord central canal of the spinal cord in the spinal cord the canal is present 
the septal canal this is spinal cord it is situated inside the vertebral column and this vertebral column is formed by the different vertebra we push we we keep the one vertebra above the other and in between the vertebra and in between the vertebra suppose this is the one vertebra and this is the second vertebra in between the two vertebra there is the intervertebral disc and intervertebral disc and in the vertebra there is the canal is present suppose this is the vertebral canal and this is the canal is present vertebral canal is present and inside this vertebral canal this is the spinal cord vertebral canal this spinal cord is present in the vertebral canal it is secreted csf secreted by the ependymal lining and this epidermal is modified epithelial cells and the central canal of the spinal cord agar hum log se pucha jaye ki net production kitna hota hai net production net production of csf net production of the csf it is about the 400 to 500 ml per day 400 ऑब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन में भी पूछा जाता है नीट पीजी में भी 400 टू 500 एम पर डे नाउ नेट प्रोडक्शन नाउ तो व्हाट इज द कंपोजिशन कंपोजिशन ऑफ सीएसएफ व्हाट आर द कंपोजिशन ऑफ द सीएसएफ फर्स्ट इज द प्रोटीन ग्लूकोज the csf contains the protein glucose chloride white blood cells white blood cells what is the volume and uh, total production or net production and rate of production and rate of production the protein 25 mg per 100 ml ml of blood glucose 52 per 100 ml of the csf and 52 80 mg per 100 ml chloride 750 mg per 100 ml number of white blood cells 0 to 5 cells per cubic millimeter and volume is 80 ml to 150 ml in adult in adult 80 to 150 ml in adult and total production it is 400 ml to 500 ml per day 400 to 500 ml per day and rate of production is 0.5 ml per minute 0.5 ml per minute and total production that is the 400 to 500 ml per day 0.5 ml per minute and total production is 400 to 500 ml per day and the pressure these are the composition the protein the glucose the chloride and the number of white blood cells the volume and the rate of production which is 0.5 ml per minute per minute and the pressure what is the pressure the pressure is 60 to 150 millimeter of water the pressure the pressure is 62 to 150 millimeter of water in recumbent position in the lateral recumbent position in lateral recumbent position in natural recumbent position and it is more than in the sitting position 
in sitting position 150 to 300 millimeter of water in sitting position in sitting position the csf pressure is more in the sitting position than the lateral recumbent position this is the composition of the csf now the what are the barrier which present in between the blood csf that is the blood csf barrier what is the blood csf barrier before blood csf barrier we discuss about the choroid plexus what is choroid plexus choroid plexus what is choroid plexus these are the villous structure these choroid plexus are villous that is the villi are present on this choroid plexus extending from the ventricular wall into the csf that is the lateral ventricular wall or the third ventricular wall and into the csf they are the villous structure these choroid plexus are villous these are the villous structure villous structure it means the villi are present extending from the ventricular wall ventricular wall into csf ventricular wall into the csf and these plexus are made out of these choroid plexus made up of cuboidal epithelium the single layer of layer of cuboidal epithelium cuboidal epithelium not the columnar epithelium this layer this choroid plexus layer it is made up of the cuboidal epithelium not the cuboidal epithelium cuboidal epithelium sorry the cuboidal epithelium not the columnar epithelium. and there is the villous structure villous structure made up of the cuboidal epithelium which is the modified infantima and enclosing on and enclosing an extensive capillary network this choroid plexus enclosing enclosing that is the covering the capillary network extensive capillary network extensive capillary network embedded in the connective tissue stroma embedded in the connective tissue stroma connective tissue stroma thus the material entering the csf from the capillary that is the from the capillary the different materials entering the csf has to pass through the following structure connective tissue stroma and the material entering the csf entering the csf from the capillary from the capillary has to pass through following a structure following a structure what are the following structure first is the endothelial cells which are fenestrated basement membrane then layer of pale cells and their process and choroidal epithelium with tight tensions the material entering the csf from the capillary has to pass to the following structure we see the blood csf barrier in this diagram these are the fenestrated cells the endothelial cells and these are the connective tissue stoma and these are the epithelial lining the cuboidal epithelial lining having the tight junction and microvilli and the cilia are present the microvilli are present the tight junction is present and endothelial cells are present and these are the basement membrane and also there will is the layer of the pale cells this is the layer of the pale cells layer of the pale cells thus the choroid plexus 
or villous structure extending from the ventricular wall into the CSF, ventricular wall into the CSF, that is the blood CSF barrier in between the capillary and the CSF fluid, there is the barrier and the barrier, these barrier are the first is the endothelial cells, first is the endothelial cells, in diagram I have shown the endothelial cells, these are the fenestrated endothelial cells, then is the basement membrane, this is the orange color, this is the basement membrane, this is the endothelial cells and these endothelial cells are fenestrated and this is the basement membrane and here is the here is the pale cells here is the pale cells layer of the pale cells then this is the choroidal epithelium which is the cuboidal and the tight junction is present in between this choroidal epithelium which is cuboidal not the columnar and the different microvilli and the cilia are present so here is the lumen of the capillary and here is the cavity of the ventricle thus the blood csf barrier is formed between between these a structure the endothelial cells then the basement membrane then is the layer of the pale cells then is the then the choroidal epithelium with tight junctions that is the blood csf barrier what are the layer forms following the structure first is the first is the endothelial cells first is the endothelial cells endothelial cells which are fenestrated which are fenestrated second is the basement membrane basement membrane of endothelial cells and third is the pale cells layer of pale cells and fourth is the choroidal epithelium choroidal epithelium layer of the pale cells the basement membrane the endothelial cells this is the showing the blood csf barrier blood csf barrier in the next class video i will discuss about the absorption of the csf and how the csf flow from the lateral ventricle to the third ventricle thank you